Pastor Eli Leitzow once again here out of Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church studying the Ten Commandments with you. We're on commandment number six. You shall not commit adultery. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we lead a sexually pure and decent life in what we say and what we do. And husband and wife love and honor each other. And there we see the ultimate good. Remember, we're talking about all of this uh, good over and against evil. The things of life over against the things of death. And so maybe when we're talking about this sixth commandment with our, uh, with our neighbors, with our friends, with our family, this is, again, the way that we need to talk about it. The things of good, the things of life. How has our Lord actually set this up? Now, of course, we can begin the conversation and how the perfect marriage that we see is that with Christ and his bride, the church. And the very fact that it is Christ is the one who makes his bride, the church, perfect in his sacrificial death, and he has brought us into this oneness with him so that Christ is our head and we are the body. But as we actually go and talk about what this means when we see this out in the world, because we do see this out in the world, where marriage is basically meaningless now, right? We don't have this understanding that marriage is a leave, cleave, become one flesh. It is for the purpose of one man, one woman, joined together for life, towards procreation. All of that's gone right? It has nothing towards procreation, it has nothing towards uh, the constancy of uh, life forever, right? Until death parts us. And now we've even done away with, uh, goodness, the, the man and the woman aspect of it. And if we're engaging with our uh, fellow uh, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, or even engaging with those outside in the world, maybe this is the way that we should talk about it. Somehow kind of get the conversation of, Okay, this gift of marriage is a good gift from our Lord, and it's a gift of life. And so we need to see marriage in the light of life. Does it produce life? Does it encourage life? Does it help and support life? Anything that doesn't really do that can't be considered marriage. Anything that doesn't really do that is against this good gift of sex that God has given to us and against this good gift of marriage that God has given to us. So if we're just talking about uh, sex outside of the context of marriage where it's not this lifelong union and it's not even toward uh, this procreation, then we're not even talking about the things of life. We're just talking about the things of fun. But that's not how our Lord has actually given us this gift. And if we're talking about unions, or we can't even really talk about them as unions, if we're talking about relationships that can't even produce life, then we can't be talking about marriage either. And we can't be talking about a good gift from our Lord. Because that's contrary. That's over and against the things of life. It can't even biologically make life. And so again, maybe this is how we need to talk about it. That our Lord has uh, given all good gifts toward life. That is good. And even, if this, even this good gift of marriage, that's towards good and towards life. Well, let's talk about life. Let's talk about marriage toward life. Let's talk about how our Lord gives all good gifts of life. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.